Welcome back, Kane Center family and friends. Thank you for joining us for Brain Fitness. We're gonna start like we always start with brain integration exercises. So from a nice seated, comfortable position, let's get started. This is your warning. This one is challenging. So let's go to prayer pose like this. Take that right hand and make circles out away from the body. That part's easy. Get those circles going away from the body. Okay, now we're gonna add in that left hand and that left hand is gonna make circles in toward the body. So your right hand's going out away from the body. Let's add that left hand. It's going in toward the body. Now this, to me, is not easy. Don't laugh at me. Go ahead, laugh at me, I don't mind. Oh, okay, great job. But now we have to switch it up. So we're gonna take that left hand and that's gonna go out away from the body easy part away from the body we're gonna take that right hand and bring it in so right hands going in left hands going out and if any of you can get this you are awesome because I can't seem to do it well that's part of brain fitness you won't always get it but it's a good workout let's do something a little bit less challenging so take that right hand put it out flat make some circles in towards the body any size you want, large, little, doesn't matter. We're gonna add that left hand and we're gonna make lines. So just make a line. So the right hand is making circles and the left hand is trying to stay straight to make a line. <laughs> All right, now we gotta do it to the other side. So with the left hand, we make circles. Get those circles with the left hand. And with the right hand, we make those lines, those straight lines. Okay, good job. Let's move on. So we're gonna do think fast brain warm up. I'm gonna give you three categories. Eat it, read it, wear it. Eat it, read it, wear it. I'm going to call out a list of items and then you just holler out as loud as you can if that's something that you eat, something that you read, or something that you wear. And remember, we're gonna go fast. We're just gonna warm up the brain. So just do your best. Tofu. Kilt, succotash, polka, lox, tango, cardigan, jean, goulash, pizza, tuxedo, hummus, cummerbund, two-step, Tennessee shuffle, ponytail. Ponytail is kind of tricky to me because it's just something that girls are... Uh, or kids even wear just in the back of their head. I guess I see guys wearing them now too, little ponytails. So ponytail is wear it. Good job, everyone. Word finding skills. Now for this exercise, what you need to remember is that all the answers begin with the letter T. So you might think, think something else fits there, but the answers have to begin with the letter T for this exercise. A tortilla that is folded and stuffed with meat, cheese, and lettuce. How about taco? A state of mind, particularly one that is hostile or angry. Now remember, there might be other words that fit, but our answer for this exercise begins with a T. Hostile and angry. This person has a, and babies do this, Two, they throw a temper, a temper tantrum in children. A domestic cat with stripes. So what kind of cat is this? A domestic cat with stripes. How about a tabby cat? The front of the neck, the passage that leads from the mouth and the nose to the stomach and the lungs. Right here, guys, begins with a T, the throat. A group of players forming on one side in a competitive game. So we have these in baseball and football and soccer. And you might have a favorite one. Of course, we're talking about teams, team. Mental math. So before we get into math, let's just take a couple of deep breaths, prime the brain, get it relaxed so it can think for us. Two more breathing. Let's 
do one more breathe in. Good, feel better already. So let's move on to mental math. But remember, you can always pause the screen if you need a little more time and that is perfectly fine. So 50 plus what equals 60? 50 plus what equals 60? That is 10. 25 plus what equals 75? 25 plus what equals 75? 50. 45 plus what equals 65? 45 plus what number gives you 65? That's 20. 120 plus what number gives you 200? 120 plus what equals 200? That's 80. 40 plus what equals 100? 40 plus what number gives you 100? And that's 60. 85 plus what equals 90? 85 plus what number gives you 90? How about 5? 80 plus what number gives you 100? From 80 to what number gives you 100? 20. Whew, we did our mental math. Okay, what do they do? The names of three people will be provided. Can you identify their occupation or their trade? So there's a little bit of long-term memory gonna come into play here too. So you're looking for uh, the name, I'm gonna give you the names of the three people and you tell me what their occupation or their trade is. Ernest Hemingway, Mark Twain, Charles Dickens. For bonus points, you can start telling me what they wrote because they are authors. Phil Donahue, Larry King, Oprah Winfrey. You see them on TV. They are talk show hosts. Spider-Man, Superman, Captain America. Who are these guys? Superheroes. Bud Abbott, Woody Allen, George Carlin. They make you laugh because they are comedians. Word finding skills. All the answers begin with the letter T. Okay guys, word finding skills. All the answers begin with the letter T. Let's do it again. A natural skill or ability. A natural skill or ability. We say this about people who can sing, dance, play sports. We say they have a talent. A person who visits a location other than his home. A lot of people like to do this. They like to travel. And so what do we call folks that travel? How about a tourist? Something pleasant that is un unexpected. Now remember, there's lots of things that could go here, but this answer has to start with the letter T. So something pleasant that is unexpected, starting with the letter T. A treat, a treat, like an ice cream cone would be a nice treat. Someone surprised you with, with that. A clerical worker who writes letters using a typewriter. So the clue is using the typewriter. This would be a typist. An examination, experiment, or trial. Remember, it starts with a T. An exa examination, experiment, or trial. Starting with the letter T. A test, a test. You have these in school and to get your driver's license, a test. Okay, so this is something new. This is word escalator. So we'll do this first one together. The beginning of a word will be provided and then you will finish the word. So you're gonna see some letters that start out a word and then you complete the word by putting in the back end of the letters. So you have SH. Now what can go here to make this a word? SH, just need one letter here for this word escalator. And you could make it she. You could put a Y and make it shy. And you might've come up with other answers as well. So let's do it again. This time you have S-H and two blanks. S-H and two blanks. 
Now, what two letters can go in there to complete this word? We could put the OT there and you see the word shot. You could put the OE there and you'll see the word shoe. And if you put the AM, you'll have the word sham. And you might have come up with those too. So now we have the S, H, and three blanks. So we need three letters to complete this word. Give me a, a minute there. S, H with three blanks. What word can we have here? How about shoot, sheet, and shape? You see that? O, O, T could go there and we'd have a shoot. Same for sheet and shape. Word escalator. That's what this game is. Some more mental math. Don't groan. You guys did really great with the math. Let's keep moving. Five times three, 15. Seven times five, 35. Nine times nine, 81. Six times six, 36. Five times four, 20. Nine times three, 27. Now we did that fast on purpose. We're trying to get that brain moving. It's about time. Focus on the question and figure out the time. So we're sneaking some more math in there. Karen left home at 8.45 a.m. Her commute is 15 minutes. What time did she arrive at the gym? She started at 8.45 and it took her 15 minutes. So what time did she get to the gym? 9 a.m., good for Karen. Kelly takes an art class on Monday at 8.30 a.m. The class is one hour and 15 minutes. What time is the class over? Starts at 8.30, it's an hour and 15 minutes. Did you say 9.45? Joe made a pizza. He put the pizza in the oven at 2.05 and he set the timer for 50 minutes. What time should he take the pie out? I know what you're thinking when the timer goes off because that's how I would do it. But let's do the math here. Put it in at 2.05, in there for 50 minutes. What time's that pizza pie coming out? 255. Jake went for a run at 7 a.m. Good for you, Jake. And returned at 8.15 a.m. How long did, it says she, but I think Jake is a he. How long did he run for? That's a nice long run, Jake. An hour and 15 minutes. That's a long run. Rhyme time. So you guys can be creative with these and call out all the answers that you want that rhyme with the word spoon. Spoon. And I know, I can't hear you, but I'm sure you guys are going to make up words because I've seen it before. So spoon, what rhymes with spoon? Keep saying them. Pretend I can hear you. I've got soon, June, dune, noon, tune, and tune. And I'm sure you guys have come up with other ones for spoon. So let's do it again. Rhyme time. Bake, B-A-K-E. What rhymes with bake? Holler those out for me. And I have cake, rake, take, make, lake. And I'm sure you have others. Rhyme time with the word right, R-I-G-H-T, right. Call out the words that rhyme with right. And I have might, tight, bite, fight, and sight. All rhyme with the word right. Let's do it again. Rhyme time. Part. P-A-R-T. Part. What rhymes with part? I heard some of those answers already. Mart, tart, smart, and another one that I'm not going to put on the board, but it starts with an S. Uh, this is synonyms. 
So we're not looking for rhyming. We're moving on to synonyms, which means the same as. So what means the same as dance? I guess that's up to interpretation, but there are some things that mean the same as dance. So think of some, and we'll see if we agree. I have sway, spin, whirl, prance, romp, and twirl. All things that mean the same as dance. How about beautiful? What means the same as beautiful? Attractive, pretty, handsome, good looking. But most women probably prefer that term, beautiful. Afraid, what means the same as afraid? Frightened, scared, fearful. Finish the phrase. This is a lot of fun. This is where I provide the first half of a very common phrase and you just holler out the back half of that phrase. Let's talk gobble, gobble, gobble. Let's talk turkey. Apple of my, apple of my eye. Just like icing on the, ooh, this is so good. It rhymes with bake. Just like icing on the cake. Cool as a vegetable that's green and long. Cool as a cucumber. She will drop you like a hot, ooh, you can bake this or mash this. She will drop you like a hot potato. Okay, great job everyone. Thank you for joining us for Brain Fitness. Please contact us if you need help with anything. We're at the Kane Center.